Hi there friends. Have just a little bit more of a laid back video for you today. I'm actually on my bed. Just wanted it to be very kicked back and just talk to you a little bit about Good Molecules. I am absolutely in love with this skincare brand and I wanted to bring you the best of what I've been using and what I've tried. And I pretty much tried everything in their line so far, except for I haven't tried their caffeine um, eye patches because I know that my eyes are so already dry underneath and caffeine does have an effect of drying but if you do have eye bags my daughter loves those she says that they're fantastic for underneath the eyes so just a little bit of heads up on there the only other thing i think i might not have tried is their beauty bar which is their like soap bar and i really want to try that but at the same time my skin is already so dry that i don't really think i need something like that but i've got five products for you here and a bonus of a sixth one that i've been trying out so just if you're new here though i want to say welcome to you and i hope that you do decide to subscribe and if everybody would just take a second give it a thumbs up that really does help me out as well so the first product we're going to start out with from good molecules is the instant cleansing balm i love this stuff you guys it doesn't have any coconut oil in it i know coconut oil can be an irritant to a lot of people but i got my new one out so i could show you guys how this comes because i think that they did such a good job even on their delivery system so you just um when you first get it you're going to see that on the top hopefully you guys can see this i think i might need to turn my lights down just a teeny tiny bit let me turn the lights down okay so hopefully you guys are going to be able to see that this comes with a little scoop right here and then it comes with the actual that i can't get off the actual seal right here there it goes okay so it's just basically you know the regular seal but if you look at the balm it's very thick and very heavy and a little tiny bit of this goes a long way so a uh, one scoop of it like that is going to do your whole face and you don't need much more than that really even for your eyes now if you had oh i've got a thing we can show right there so if you had anything look how good that's going to take that off did you see that swatch i had right there and how good that took it off how fast that took it off look how it's kind of looking like an oil it is oil it's an oil base and you're going to just be able to take your makeup off so fast i guys. love that about it i love that it goes so quickly and does you know takes everything off so quickly it leaves behind a tiny bit of the oils not a lot though it's really great about that i do go in with a second cleanse but i use a hydrating cleanse anyway but you really wouldn't absolutely have to but i do go in with a second one at night because i'm trying to make sure that my skin is super duper clean and um, really do love this stuff it does have a fragrance to it a slight fragrance to it it smells like a very light baby powder smell so if you're you know really kind of can't do fragrances you might want to think about that but this is probably my favorite cleansing balm ever it comes in a great tub i think this is about 14 dollars, something like that i'll make sure that i show you guys but it's really a good good makeup remover and just have been using it that's like my fourth or fifth cleansing balm so after i did that and if this was at night time i would go in with the overnight exfoliating treatment this is such a good one you guys now if you have seen sunday riley good jeans it has lactic acid in it and they that is their overnight treatment where you put it on and in the morning your skin feels really soft this has extra ingredients beyond that lactic acid lactic acid is so good to go into your pores take out any of the dead skin cells and the dirt and make your pores look much smaller because it's really cleaning them out and once they're cleaned out they can kind of shrink down a little bit and then the other thing is it has glycolic acid which is a really great softening agent and good for you know just taking off those dead skin cells and then it also has salicylic acid which is not only good for all of those things as far as taking care of acne and you know still helping to slough everything off but it's also a really good soothing acid as well so that is a trifecta of the really great acids that are so good for your skin and can help 
keep acne at bay and help aging, you know, softening lines, all those good things. So I put this on right after I cleanse and my face is completely dry. I put this on and I let it sink in. I don't use a lot. I let it sink in and then I go on with the rest of my skincare. But I love this stuff, you guys. Do that at night um, before I go in with anything else and I, I really love it. Now, the Niacinamide Brightening Toner from them is probably my favorite of all their products. And I have put this in so many videos and you guys know that the, I just love this. The reason is, is because I saw such good benefits from it, like within two to three weeks. My pores looked visibly smaller. And as I continue to use it, I feel like my skin is just getting better and better as far as refining those pores, taking care of discoloration. So the main ingredient in here is niacinamide. Niacinamide is so good for cleaning out pores, for helping to take away discoloration. It's just an all around fantastic product. And that's the main ingredient in here, but it also has alpha arbut arbutin, which is also known to be a great brightener for molas melasma and dark pigmentation and all that stuff. It also has licorice root, which is known to actually inhibit the, the production of melasma or the, you know, the spots and stuff. So it is going to help you not get any age spots in that further. And then it also has vitamin C, which we know is a highly effective brightener, antioxidant, free radical fighter. So this is such a good one to start your morning routine off with. And I absolutely love this. I will not ever, ever be without this. It's such a good product. I should have talked about this before now. Okay. This one is one that I would go in after my cleansing balm. I do this maybe four or five times a week. This is their pineapple exfoliating powder this is really cool you guys this is just a powder form if you've never tried powder powder exfoliators before you're going to love this and it just comes out like a powder like it says just comes out like a powder looks almost like a setting powder and then you're going to mix it with water you don't want to mix it with any other serums or anything because you're going to want this to do its job so that's the powder on it i just had to wipe that off it just mixes into a really nice paste once you get water in there so i'm going to read to you off of the good molecules site what it does as far as what the benefits are because i think it's really important to hear this um, just firsthand as far as what the claims are and the fact that I really agree that it does this. Okay, so natural rich starch and silk powder gently buff away, build up to reveal more radiant skin without irritation of normal scrubs. Calamine powder and alat alatoin help soothe and calm the skin while you exfoliate. Enzyme rich pineapple, kiwi, and papaya extract gently loosen dead skin cells why well 3-0 ethyl ascorbic acid supports a bright tone free of micro microbeads nutshells powders and alpha hydroxy acids for gentle exfoliation so you're getting the chemical and the physical exfoliant in here and honestly you guys this is so good i am not a huge fan i got powder everywhere i'm not a huge fan of the actual smell of this but i know that there's no added fragrance in it because of how it does smell so if you feel like you're getting a funky smell from it just know that it's normal for it but this powder is awesome it works so good it takes away all those dead skin cells especially after you use the overnight serum if you use this in the morning and then feel your skin it's going to feel so soft because it is just a one-two punch it's so good i love both of those so much so as the last thing i want to talk about this is their ultra hydrating oil facial oil and you know, when I first got this, I was like, I don't know, is it really that great? Is it really something that I'm looking at that I think is just really that good? It is, you guys. It's a lot smaller than the jars that I have gotten from The Ordinary. But this is a combination of camellia oil, camellia, I think that's how you say it, oil and sea buckthorn oil. Okay, first of all, camellia oil is super hydrating and it sinks into your skin super fast. So it's gonna go in, it's not gonna just sit on the top layer you know like some oils do squalane oil is one of my very favorites argon oil marula oil all those sink really well into the skin you're not just going to feel like a grease ball and then the other thing the sea buckthorn oil 
it contains all the omegas. So you get the omega-3, omega-6, 9, and 7, which I had to research because I didn't even know there was a 7. But it does contain all of those. So you get those rich fatty acids that help with every part of your skin's needs. And those fatty acids combined with the camellia oil, it just is a fantastic oil for hydrating. It's good even for my skin, even though I sweat during the day right now. I'm enjoying it because it also has the factor of just sinking in really quickly without leaving you know my makeup to melt off during the day or anything like that i don't feel like it does that it's just really beautiful oil and i do feel like it's a super super hydrator now there are some oils that are moisturizers and then there's some oils that are hydrators i feel like this is a hydrator because of how well it sinks into the skin it also has the effect oh i can't believe how fast and how lovely that is sinking into my skin it actually feels almost like a hydrating lotion as i'm going across the back of my hand it is just a beautiful beautiful product and you only need one drop truly i do need one drop for my whole entire face and then i have a hyper hydrated looking face i don't even know if you're going to be able to see that but it is so hydrating and it just sinks in and i really love this oil it's different than any of the other oils that i've gotten from the ordinary or any of my other favorites okay so i said there was a bonus in here and the reason that i didn't exactly just put this in as one of my very favorites is because i've only had this for under a month but i feel like it's doing a really really good job you guys this is their discoloration correcting serum and this i just put on the spots where i feel like i do have the discoloration I have a lot of scarring and dark spots right out here along my cheeks. I have some right here and I have a lot on my chest. And if I have a spot that's especially troublesome, I'll put a little bit on my finger and I'll go really targeted wherever I feel like that spot has really come up. And this is so good, you guys. I'm really, really enjoying this. It is one that I will have to test out for the long haul, but I'm gonna read the description to you from their website as well. This has tranexamic acid in it. Now, if you have never heard of that, I'm gonna refer you over to my good friend Penny from Penn Smith Skincare. She's an advanced esthetician and she breaks these things down so good. But tranexamic acid is one of those acids that can penetrate deeply. So it doesn't just sit on the top of the skin it actually goes down deep and it can actually change the melanin or the the tone of that dark spot that you might have so it goes down really deep and helps to hide or fade hyperpigmentation not hide it and then it ha says it has a dual action formula that targets existing dark spots and prevents new dark spots from coming so really great there and then it says it has four percent niacinamide which the toner did too um that ha that helps to improve the appearance of une uneven skin and tone texture dullness and enlar enlarged pores i think that it doesn't matter if this product does have um niacinamide in it niacinamide is one of those products that you can't really overdo on your skin i mean unless you have very super hypersensitive skin niacinamide is going to be an all-around good product so the fact that these two have it in there doesn't bother me a bit and i love that this says that it actually can even out your complete skin tone and i feel like that so much with this but like i said again this is going to have to be seen for the long haul for me as far as knowing whether or not this is one of those that's going to be up there in the top section with all of the good molecules but so far so good you guys i really have been enjoying that the other thing that i want to tell you about this skincare line is that when I got this, actually I did get this in PR. I should have told you guys that. I did get the discoloration serum in PR. The rest of them I bought myself, but this one came with a card that said that Good Molecules is changing the way that they do their products. Now, whenever they list their products, they're going to tell you how much of that product is in, or how, mu how much ingredients is in that product percentage wise, which I think is amazing. So if this has niacinamide, you're gonna know how much niacinamide it has on it and where it goes on the list of ingredients. If it has tranexamic acid, you're gonna know how much tranexamic acid it has in it. They're coming out and they're being totally transparent with everybody. What more could you ask for from a skincare line? 
all of their ingredients their list will be there you will know exactly from now on where their ingredients deck lies how much it is that is such a great tool for us as we age because we want the big power punches of really good ingredients without the nonsense of the other ingredients so you're going to know that from now on which i think is such a good thing that they have finally done so Thank you guys so much for spending a part of your day with me today. I hope that you did enjoy this review of Good Molecules. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I sure appreciate you being here with me. I hope that you are all doing very well. You're staying health healthy. Stay sanitized. Get that sanitizer out and wash those hands really good. Please take care of yourselves. Love you all, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.